Hey kitties and welcome back to my channel. Bienvenidos a todos. For those of you who are new to my channel, my name is Ashley Alyssa and welcome to the Kitty Gang. So in today's video, I am introducing you one of my good friends. This is Jacob right here. Introduce yourself. Please. I am Jacob. Yeah. <laughs> so this is his first time on my channel. Um, we actually just had like a little like bestie day. So we went out to dinner, we went and got dessert and We've just like been drinking wine and we decided that we wanted to start doing kind of like um a gay series like so you guys can know how it is to live the life of being a gay man and a lesbian woman you know so i don't think it's something that's talked about very often so we're just basically gonna do um a gay of our lives jacob came up with this like title and i'm like okay girl let's go with it as the gays twirl <laughs> <laughs> So yeah, um, and Jacob, one thing about him is he comes out with like the craziest puns, so be prepared. Um, I'm like and, a poor man's Bianca Del Rio. Yes, yes, yes. And if you watch RuPaul's Drag Show, then you know who Bianca is, okay? Everybody knows who Bianca is. <laughs> she will roast you. There you go. But basically, Jacob is here to spill the tea about the gay world, the do's and don'ts, and um, what else? That's it. I basically, you know, you going out and having a good time and what to yeah. do and what not to do and the pitfalls to avoid and yes. just sort of like uh, as a gay man myself, uh, going out and making sure that everything is uh, well taken care of. Yes. Definitely. <laughs> we also want to touch on points that um, the gay community doesn't really talk about or we are afraid to talk about so we kind of want to take it there. We want to talk about things that a lot of people keep on the hush hush. Um, but we want to like also raise awareness and we also want to let any gay individuals out there let you know that you know if you need someone reach out to us feel free like we're open to questions um, I will also tag um, Jacob's Instagram and you know if you want to reach out to him personal messages or whatnot but we just want you to know that it is okay to be gay and you do have a support system starting right here so yeah there we go. In today's video, basically... We've known each other for a very long time. Um, kind of, it feels like we've known each other for our whole lives. Um, going out, you know, we were just talking about how these days it's a little bit more difficult, especially being a young gay man myself, trying to find somebody to sort of vibe with and have a connection with, only because everything is so digital and apps and all this kind of stuff mm -hmm. that you sort of lose the one-on-one uh, -on -one with a person, sort of that intimacy level. And That's so we live true. in such a, a microwave society that people want yep. things right then and there. And when they get bored with you, it's like, we're going to cast it to the side. Exactly. So it's, uh, you know, we uh, seen so many things as we go out and I've seen so many things, you know, in the number of years that I've been going out and hanging out and, you know, going from the club scene to the bar scene to a whole bunch of different scenes and you see a different sort of type of people and the gay community and, uh, your eyes are really opened and so mine have been for the past year or so sort of like a transition going from one thing to the next and so uh, i think it's good to talk about it most people don't like to but i think that once we you know pull the covers from that you get to see you know the real world and how it really works and and, and things to avoid exactly and it's true it's like when you are younger i mean whether you are straight or gay you know, most of the time, I'm not saying everyone because not everyone is a partier, but we are Latinos, you know, and I'm sorry, but we love the rumba, you know, we, we love the chicky boom. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> we love, you know, for us, it's like life is a party, you know, being young and going into the party scene, like and experiencing those things and then slowly transitioning as you get older and not just as you get older because this may happen to you even being a, a young individual is just you realize sometimes like this is just not what I want forever there's so much more to just that party lifestyle and there's so much more to what you see on social media like we basically let you see what we want you to see you're not there so a lot of people may not understand like some people may be going through some things and you don't even know like you know jacob and i talk about this a lot we are both virgos so team virgos mm -hmm. <laughs> analytical as fuck yes <laughs> <laughs> yes that is so true and you know we we are also those type of people that were very strong we're not the type of people that hold 
like our emotions like on our sleeves like you will not know like and i've talked about this in my other videos you know i will not let other people kind of just see what's really going on because i try to live this um positive lifestyle so for me it's like i don't like for people to see me break but you also have to realize that the way that we are it's okay to break and we have to remind ourselves that you know when we are going through those things and you know sometimes we feel like oh my gosh we have to be living this perfect lifestyle and no you don't because life isn't perfect you know we, we become so obsessed with how we think life should be but there's no rule book to it there's no really no right and wrong according to people you know you have to sort of find your own way uh, over the past year uh, you know we're talking with Ashley and and us just going through the motions and things of emotions and, and finding out where our place is. We, you know, there is a certain time where you want to go out and you have fun and you want to do these things and be a part of this social atmosphere. But at the same time, there's more that you want. There's more yeah. that you want to get out of your life. There's growth that takes place. There's things that you want to do that uh, you have to sort of shed this old skin. Uh, there is a, a saying that I like uh, that I saw that says, I hope your life is as fabulous as it is that you portray it to be on Instagram. And that's so true because sometimes, especially as Virgos, we tend to put up a front yeah. uh, when our world is crumbling down. Yeah. And, you know, we look good, but at the same time, what's going behind the scenes is total chaos. Yeah. And so it's sort of going and lifting up the veil and getting beyond that and saying, okay, what is, after all the partying, after all that, after all the social requirements that we're doing, what's left after that? What is this person that's behind all that? Do you really want to get to know them? Because at the end of the day, we're really looking at a mirror at ourselves and we're the only ones that are looking at ourselves and are we really satisfied or pleased with the person that we're looking at? And so as we really come to that point of just being able to, and now I have, I can speak for myself and, and now Ashley too, uh, we've gotten to the point where it's just, okay, well, what's left? What's, what's the next step? What's the next point in our lives, in our careers, or in, in things that we want to do? We've done the social atmosphere. We've done what sort of is required of the gay scene and, and yeah. to be a part of that. But what's after that? You know, because if you continue staying stuck in that same lane, it's going to be the same repetitive, monotonous thing. Yeah. And then we're just stuck. Yeah. And so we're, we, we end up getting miserable. Yeah. And so... And you don't end up yeah, growing exactly. either. Like, you exactly. do not, like, grow. You don't let yourself grow either. And you have to let yourself grow. And not to say that, you know, yes, we're getting older and we're maturing and we're wanting other things in life. We're never saying like, oh my gosh, we're, we're getting older. So, you know, this is not the lifestyle I'm ever going to be a part of. Like, no. I don't know. Um, maybe I'll go out to a party like once right. a year, once every like six months or something, you know, I'm going to make my appearance. about knowing what your limits are. Exactly. Yeah. And make your appearance, you know, stay in contact with those friends. But just also remember that you don't have to just connect with your friends just to go out and party, you know, because at the end of the day, how much social, um, contact are you really getting when you're out partying you're really not you're having a great time you are creating memories and you're having fun and you're dancing and you're socializing but when you have that one-on-one -on -one, going you know out to dinner like you know just catching up coming over the house drinking some wine and just catching up like you want that social interaction you have to have that intellectual part of your life it's so important to have that with other people because that's how you're going to grow you're going to learn something from each other each and every time so because the more that people find out about who you are the more yeah. relatable you can be because sometimes we tend to have a one note persona and we just that's who we are and people just see this person and okay well i just only know this person because i see them at the club and they're twirling and they're having a good time or whatever but i don't really get to know you as a person and i think that secretly we desire this social connectivity we want to get to know this person we want to get to know these people who are they behind them partying at the club or doing all this kind of stuff and what i've really gotten to at a point in my life is I want to have that connection with a person, mm -hmm. but that's also key in finding the right people to hang out with them, the right exactly. people to connect with, knowing that they're going to, they're in the right same sort of mindset that you are and they want to build and grow with you and have that same kind of mindset. You never want to get with a person that's going to bring you down because that's always going to be what's yeah. happening. And there is those people. Yeah. There's those people that will suck the energy out of you. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it's not because they purposely mean to, it's just because I say this all the time, you are vibrating at a higher frequency and it's just natural to be attracted to something like that. And there's people that will sometimes bring out the worst in you. There are people who will enable you and that's where you have to like think about your own strength as a person. But at the same time, there's just people that um, are just so stuck in this negative mindset 
that being around them is just draining and sometimes you have to set yourself aside even if it's people who you know you truly care about friends family whatever like you sometimes have to take a step back and you have to do what is beneficial for you at the end of the day because they they will suck the energy out exactly one thing i want to mention is that in whoever's watching this is you have to learn how to say no Yes. And some, it took me a long time to get to the point where I had to say no, and it's okay to say that. You know, snap at a Z formation, no, glitter, no, or whatever, no. you know? And no, that's no, the no. hardest thing. The simplest yep. two-letter word is, like, the hardest Thing. Well, because people have uh, FOMO, fear of missing out. Yep. And so I had that for the longest time. And I think a lot of gay guys, it, it doesn't matter, gay, straight, yeah. bi, whatever. You have this fear of missing out because you don't. You want to be a part of something. You want to do it. Yeah. But it's okay to stay home. It's okay to do that. The same queens that are partying out on, this, uh, on one weekend, they're going to be there the next. You're really not missing out on anything. The same DJ is going to be there. The same song is going to be played. And I think that we have to get past that. We have to understand that there's more to life than just doing that. And I think that some people are still stuck in that. And, it, it, you know, it, it doesn't know any age. It doesn't discriminate against the age no. because I've seen 20, 30-year-olds, 40-year-olds out there partying. 50-year-olds. 50-year-olds. Yeah. I'm like, nana, okay. Quédate en casa. Okay, okay. We need to go home. It's time. Okay, okay. Go home. Take, Take it easy. easy. Okay. Oh. It's so true. But, you know, hey, to each their own. Right. And then Right. It has, to, your life. Yeah, it has to be a decision that you make on your own. Mm -hmm. And everybody's completely different. And we we come to a decision early in life, later in life, midlife. It, it, it doesn't matter. As long as you have the clarity that you need to be able to say, okay, this is not all that fulfills me. It's not all that sustains me. Yeah. It's not all that defines me. I am more than this. I can do more. I can be better. I always say... I'm not going to be a 40-year-old partying in the club because then what does that make me look like? Yeah. You know? There's a time and a place for everything. And I don't get me wrong. We love to go out and have a good oh, time. Yeah, of course. We're salsero, salsero. We love to dance yeah. and have a good time and party. But there's a limit to that. Yes. There's there As we get older, we're both in our 30s. Yeah. We understand that it's not something that defines us. It's something that is uh, it's sort of like a, a dessert on the side. Yes. It's yeah. not the main course. You know? And, so and we it's have, hard to recover from that. It is hard, girl. <laughs> <laughs> girl oh my gosh you guys don't even know uh, like if you are not in your 30s like we partied hard like that's one thing i have no shame in in saying that because there's no regrets like i you know i know i'm a good person but and, and yes i have partied and we have partied hard together well like, for those of you who are watching who may know who i am yes. uh you know that i am not shy of a kiki yeah <laughs> uh, i love my partying i i loved it i did it for i had a good five six years yeah. of, of straight up partying, and I enjoyed my 20s yeah. uh, thoroughly and uh, it is a it, it's it, it was a fun time I have no regrets the thing is with us that we have no regrets yeah. we have a lot of stories we have a lot of good times or whatever as a matter of fact that's how we met exactly. was at a party and you know you just at an, vibe, after party. at an after party go bigger girl <laughs> <laughs> but you know the thing is when you just connect with people and you find that connection that spiritual spiritual connection and that yeah. sort of it Virgo's vibe together we just we, we sort of find each we other um, you you vibe with that person and you maintain lasting relationships but it is a two-way street and we, yeah. we've had some situations where I you know lack of communication on my part and and we you know but we've always found a way back to yeah. each other and I let them know and, exactly I you know, check him real quick I'm like, um, excuse me, <laughs> hello stranger. Like just the other day, I sent him like, hello stranger with a uh, gif of freaking Adele. Hello from the other side, girl. Hello from the other side. He was like, ooh. But you know what? That's a typical yeah. trait of a Virgo exactly. is that, you know, sometimes we, the communication part is not really there. Yeah. Um, but we always find our way back to each other, but that's love right there. And that's what family is all about. Um, but it's just establishing good relationships, knowing uh, your surroundings, knowing yes. who is good for you, who is going to build you up, who's going to lift you up, who's going to encourage you, yes. be that inspiring factor in your life, as opposed to somebody who's just going to be an enabler and bring you down. That's so. true. Surround yourself around people who are going to uplift you and hype you up. Don't just find those friends that when you go out and you look cute, they hype you up. Yes, you want those because we definitely do that. But you want for people in your life to hype you up, not just about the exterior part of you, but also about like who you are as a person, like who you are, you know, intellectually. Like when you sit down and they see your behavior, your morals, like the way that you act, seeing the potential in you, like people who truly believe in you, even when you don't believe in yourself, like even when 
you don't even know these things about you like those are the people who will let you know and check you when you're doing right and wrong and those are true friends true friends are the ones that are going to tell you the shit that you don't want to hear because i'm sorry it, it sucks to hear some of those things and it's kind of like Ugh. but, but that's those, where love comes from. exactly that's where love comes from because they see the potential in you they see who you truly are and it's important to understand that your interactions with people how you treat each other you know one thing that i try to get out get out as much as i can with the stories that i put on my instagram is it just uplifting uh, to let somebody know that watches it that's out there it may not be for everybody but you know somebody cares about you you know exactly. be somebody somebody we're somebody somebody we, yeah. we we aim to be that light amidst the darkness and sometimes you know yeah, we'll talk about stupid shit and we'll kiki and we'll do all this kind of stuff. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the goal is to uplift, encourage, and enlighten. And we want to make sure that whoever watches this, specifically with this video with the both of us here, uh, because we have so much love for each other. We have so much encouragement with each other. And that's something that we give each other on a regular basis that whoever watches this, whoever sees this, that it's it's for you as well. Don't think that you're alone because whatever you're going through, we've been through, uh, you know, and we're here so to many help you. So many, so many people have gone through it, but it's not something that's really talked about on a regular basis. And I think that sometimes we tend to live vicariously through other people's lives just through the pictures that they post on Instagram, not really yeah. knowing what they're going through. So it's not all glamour. It's not all, you know, Instagram model. It's not all six packs. Yeah. It's not all this and that. And I'm part of a clique or whatever. Listen, I've never felt that I've had to conform yeah. to any sort of gay stereotypical body or whatever. Mm -hmm. And don't get me wrong. No, Tina Shea. Yeah. In the, in the you know, gay, in the gay community, in the gay world, you know, it's, it's completely different. And that's where, that's where sometimes it sets us apart as, you know, lesbians and gays because gays were, we are, we tend to be cliquish. Mm -hmm. And if you don't fall within a certain sector or group, I remember when I first came out, I had no idea what a wolf, a bear, a twink, a, a muscle queen. I was like, can I just be a gay? Unicorn. A, I unicorn. a unicorn. I don't know what a unicorn. Classic. I don't know what, what colors meant. I said, can I just be a Puerto Rican, Jordanian gay man? <laughs> Do I have to fall into a certain stereotype? I'm like, yes. I don't, I don't get a it. But label. Like, a label, a label. Fall into this label. A label, and I'm like, I don't understand. Yeah. It's also, it's so hard to like be an individual. Like, I've always felt like I've never fit in. Ever since a little girl, I can sit here and say, yeah. I never fit in. Like, I was bullied in school. I was, you know, and that's something that we may even like talk about, like in another episode. But you know, I was bullied. I went through it. Um. I, I always felt very different and it's okay like there's some people that will fall into like that clique or even like the mean girl clique which is not the cute. plastics it's yeah not cute. like it's not, it's not cute. cute it's not I'm letting you know that it's not good <laughs> to be a mean girl but you know it, it's like you you feel like you have to fit in but I want you guys to know that you don't have to fit in like you don't have to look how, you know, society thinks you should look. Like, if you have your own style, it's your own style. Like, if it makes you feel good and you feel confident, then it is what it is. But I've, I've never been that person. And that's one thing that you can say is you've never been that person either. It's just like we wear what we want to wear. And if you like it, you like it. And if you don't, you don't. I'm not going to be that girl that's just going to be like, okay, well, I'm going to wear this because this is what all the girls are wearing. Exactly. Like, There's yes. a societal expectation of what you should be and what you shouldn't do and, yeah. and how you should carry yourself. And especially in the gay community with all of us, there's certain things that they feel like we need to do. And I'm like... Mm -hmm. That's it shouldn't be. We should be able to live our lives, yes, as gay individuals out and proud, and and that's it, you know. And it, we do our thing. And no tea, no shade. I don't fall into the stereotypes no. or whatever, but I still get hit on a regular basis. So <laughs> thank you so much. Okay. 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 <laughs> you know what I mean? But as strong individuals, your your inner strength, your inner beauty will come out. It'll show itself because you believe in yourself. And as long as you have that sort of foundation, you can say. I believe in myself. I know that other people are going to believe in me. I don't have to follow within this stereotypical yes. box that the society places on us. Then you're gonna you're gonna flourish. You're gonna exactly. prosper. Like stay true to yourself. Like be true to yourself. Don't feel like you have to fit in. Like if you feel like you don't fit in, then listen to your gut. Listen to your heart and listen to your mind. And that means like you don't have to fit in. Like why are you trying to fit into something like? If someone doesn't want to be in your life or someone doesn't like you for who you are, if you are truly a good person, because there's some people that be like, why don't they like me? Well, use a shady bitch. Well, that's fuck them. That's what I have to say. <laughs> fuck you, motherfucker. <laughs> but that's basically what it is. It's like those people, it's like, well, you know, come on. Like, don't come with your sob stories, please. Because 
at the end of the day, you what you put out is what you are going to get back. The goal is to stay away from shady, shysty individuals, yes. drama-free. Yes. Yeah. At this point, we live a very, don't get me wrong, there are still trials and tribulations yeah. or whatever that we go through, stresses. But we try to live a very stress-free exactly. life. That's why we gravitate towards each other because we don't let the drama sort of infiltrate yeah. the the feel that we've got this positivity this 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 good being that we've created ourselves to be yeah the only drama i want is in my lashes amen <laughs> the only drama that i want to see is in basketball bias <laughs> okay, okay. okay on a lighter note now we're going to talk about just what you can expect because i think if we get a good you know feedback with this video um i want you guys to comment i want you guys to like let us know what you guys want to see but we actually want to start doing like a, a gay of our lives you know type of series where we put out different episodes episodes like talking about just different things like whether if it's the latest music that you know we are liking right now or you know the latest like fashion or the shows that we're currently watching you know things like that and just make it more relatable make this a fun you know place to come to you know where you just learn about the gay community and um just life in general but i know that a lot of people don't have um like gay influencers to look up to and yes there is like especially here on youtube which are amazing there's patrick star which we were talking about patrick oh star God. you've got the, the makeup gurus you got patrick star you got many many anyway you've you got, got jeffree, jeffree star, star. You got James Charles. Um, correct. Like, there's so many. Like, there's a lot of LGBTQ allies and individuals yeah. that have used their platform for good. Now, some of them, you know, granted, they use it for their own gain, and you can definitely tell. Uh, but we've got some individuals. Uh, we always like to talk about Patrick Starr because he started from nothing yeah. and created something of himself and, and just grew from there. And a really excellent makeup grew. And girl, I don't even put on makeup, I but I, I watch them for just And for everybody the knows. Yeah. Everybody knows. And, and not even just that. It's like... We live in Orlando, and Patrick Starr is from Orlando. Like, yeah. you know, I work with people that have worked with him or that know him or know someone that knows him, and they just talk about, like, how amazing, you know, he was and um, so kind. And that's one thing I can say. Like, I met Patrick Starr, I remember it was two two years ago or a year ago, mm -hmm. actually, um, on New Year's Eve or New Year's Day. We were out for a Sunday fun day, and I remember we were at Eve, and I went to go to the bathroom when I was coming out, like towards like the entrance. I see him just like sitting there, looking like a walking filter, you know, per usual. And he was just so sweet. And oh my gosh, Bianca Del Rio. <gasps> oh my gosh, Bianca that's Del Rio. True. So she met everybody. Yeah. I mean, I only met Bianca Del Rio. Yeah. If you don't know who she is, uh, uh, please look her up. He, he, please look her up. She is a the winner of season six of RuPaul's Drag Race. Yes, One mama. of the best, if not the best. If you guys don't watch RuPaul, then you've been living under a rock. He is just, you, you, guys, you guys have to watch that show. Really, the LGBTQ community is really yes. stepping up the game when it comes to drag performers. I think drag is coming back into the mainstream. Yes, it needs to. Um, That's where I feel like a lot of it really like all started because yeah. um, drag queens really took it to that next level like not being afraid yeah. yes not being afraid to step outside the box and look different and look extremely dramatic mm -hmm. like I, I know a lot of people talk about you know makeup in general and they're just like oh my gosh you know you put so much makeup on whatever makeup is an art at the end of the day and it's a yes. transformation and and to be a drag queen I'm telling you, it something. takes a lot of work, a lot work, of money, art, time. Yes, it's, it's, it's like, all of that. It's it's amazing, yeah. like what they create. You know, if you have not seen RuPaul's Drag Race, you have like, to watch it. At least watch to. one episode. I no. think it'll broaden a lot of your horizons. For those of you who don't, who may think it's a little bit too taboo or yeah. you know too gay, as a lot of people say it. It's it's definitely. I think just give it a shot. Um, a lot of things are happening, especially within the trans community. You know, Laverne yes. Cox, who is uh, sort of like the oh the the main pinnacle of of, of uh, the trans community. I love absolutely love her. Uh, but there's a lot of things, a lot of documentaries. I what I did was to get myself more familiarized with the gay community and and things that are happening within our community is just looking up some documentaries, looking at some of the things, some of the gay movies that are coming out. There is one particular show that I absolutely love right now on FX called Pose, which is Ooh. fantastic. <gasps> It is fantastic. It is uh, the 1980s ballroom scene and how it all got started. People voguing and all that kind of stuff. It what? is fantastic. I need to watch Fantastic. That. And it sheds a light on individuals who were, you know, suffering with, with HIV back in the day when it was considered a death sentence and people who were being thrown out of their house because of yeah. religious families and everything like that. So it's it's really good. I, I'd say, you know, give it a shot. Watch it. It comes on on Sundays. Uh, it's a really good yeah. show. Even watch, um, if you really want to take it back, 
to um, two shows that I feel like were huge in the gay community. Oh my um, God, I, think I know what you're going to say. Oh my God. So for the gays, Queers Folk. Yes! Oh, oh my, my gosh! gosh queers yes. Folk! If you well, have not watched something. it. I used to watch that secretly because I wasn't out at the time. <gasps> And I love, love, love that show. And I was like, my eyes were open. I was like, oh my God, is this really how, how the gay community is? I was like, I want to go to this club. I know. I want to go to this Babylon. club. Babylon. Oh my gosh. Yes. And for lesbians, the, the L, L word. word. Oh Absolutely my gosh. Love like, that show. Gay men have watched it. Yeah. You know, yeah. lesbian. I have straight friends that legit have watched all these shows. And Every girl has Jennifer Beals from Flashdance. Hello. I mean, hello. Um, who wouldn't want to watch <laughs> hello. it? Hello. Gorgeous. Absolutely beautiful. They're bringing it back yeah. from what I hear, yeah. which is awesome. Them, but yeah. I remember when I first started watching The L Word, I was actually, um, I, I hadn't even came out yet. Like, mm -hmm. I, yeah. I would go, this is when Blockbuster was popping. If you don't know about Blockbuster. <laughs> ancient, <laughs> ancient. Look up in the archives. <laughs> in the archives. This is going way back. We're going back into the VHS yes, days. We used to go and rent this stuff and the DVDs, you oh know, go and rent this stuff. And I remember like going to Blockbuster with my parents and they would just be like, Oh, you know, Ashley, you you pick your stuff and like we'll pick our stuff and I would just watch, you know, my shows or like my movies in my room because I wasn't interested in what my parents wanted to watch. So they were cool and they were like, Oh, what are you renting? And they're like, Damn, you're renting like the L word every weekend we come here and I'm like, There's seasons, you know? Let's be honest. <laughs> Let's be honest. But they did not know what was going on. They did not and it I it was such a, a taboo thing. But if you really want to, if you are someone who um, you're scared to come out or you're just curious about our community, like those shows definitely touched on a lot of things. I think it's good just to get your, yourself familiarized with it. Anybody who's straight, who's watching this, I think that uh, you have certain things going into this thinking about what the gay community is only because of what you've seen in TV and movies yeah. and all that kind of stuff. And, and granted, some of that does take place, but then there's a whole other side to it. There's a, uh, there's a side that we're fighting still for acceptance and, and, and love and unity and, and all that kind of stuff. And there are shows and, like I said, documentaries and things that really shed a light on who we are as a people and what we what we love and what we... Ultimately, at the end of the day, we just want to be accepted for who we are. Exactly. You know, marriage between... It's just two individuals who are in love with each other and they want to do that. And I completely support that. It, it I think that we need to get past the stigma of, of that it's a... Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Exactly. It, it, let's get away from that. Let's get love away from that. Is a love. I'm living proof that you can still be a Christian. You can still believe in God. You can still have this, whatever your faith yeah. is, whatever that is. You can still be a faith-based person, person, uh, without conforming to those ideals of yeah. of old time, of the past time. You know, the, the, we're getting away from that. Yeah. You know, so whoever's watching this, if you're struggling with that, and you know, I want to reach out to those people who just feel like, okay, I can't. It's like a, a struggle. Like I have this dichotomy that I can't have one or the other. Well, yes, you can. Yeah. Who, who told you that you can't? You exactly. Can't, you know? you, you're still a person, you right. know, just just because you're gay doesn't mean like now you, you know, like how he said, you can't still practice the religion that, that you have or, you know, your spiritual beliefs have now changed because now you're gay. No, like at the end of the day, we're still human. If you cut my skin and you cut his skin and you cut whoever's skin, like we all bleed red. Like Although I think I might bleed a little glitter. You know, <laughs> you just, know I think, I think we bit. all we You, all you open little... me up, I think Kylie Minogue might come out. <laughs> And that is your girl. Just that's that my girl. I love, I love me girl. some Kylie. I love yeah. me some Kylie. Gays yeah. love Kylie. I remember I used to listen to her all the time. Growing but the up. thing about the gay guys is that we have a certain, we have like gay icons. So Lady Gaga is like number one, of course. You know, then you have Jennifer Lopez. Beyonce for me yeah. is like freaking Jesus Christ. Gosh, uh, I'm gonna see her by the way in a few months. I know, girl. We're not, we're gonna, we're gonna <laughs> get, we'll get into that off camera, okay? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I saw those. He's a little got, salty. A little salty, you know. Some of us got to work on that day. Um, but even going back, like yeah. Celine Dion. Celine Dion. Janet Jackson. Even Beth Madonna. Midler, Madonna. Madonna will always be number one. That woman is She like, is number one. I think she's been dead for a long time. She's just a vampire. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so, Bob Tweedam, she really is. She, like, I'm like, Cher. I mean, oh you look gosh, at Cher, Cher, I'm like, my gosh, she's been really touched by an angel. <laughs> um... You know, the, the gays, you know, when I first came out, I was like, okay, so who do I listen to? Britney was like, Britney Spears was like the number one. I was like, if I don't like Britney Spears, then I wasn't a gay you man. You know what? The gays love Britney Spears, but you know what? For me, I love Britney, but my girl is Christina. Christina because Christina, Christina, Christina was always dirty. Christina was always dirty. She, she was. Really it must be the lesbian things. We were all sissies. Yeah. yeah. You know, sissies. You know, there's a good on her, you know. Dirty little Cuban. Dirty. 
You know, I, I like Christina too. You know, I'm a little dirty like she is, or whatever. Yeah. We can, we can, we can appreciate Christina. But all these, you know, gay icons or whatever. I think, and that's what going back to the gays just really want somebody to like look up to, and they yes. just love really just strong, powerful women. Yes. You know, at the end of the day, we just love we don't we don't, we don't like the puss puss, but we love we love the uh, we yes. love the women. You guys love strong women. Right. That's one thing I I can say. And it's just like at the end of the day, we all come from a woman. Yeah. And it takes yeah. a strong woman to birth a child. So yeah. it's just that's although I was natural birth, so I probably that's why I don't like vagina to this day. <laughs> so I wasn't natural. I was C-section. So oh, okay, <laughs> that's, okay. That's probably, that's why, probably like why. So you never even went through. <laughs> Go figure. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, I think we we love strong, powerful women, and I think that it's good to have that in your life. It's good to look up to somebody. It's okay to to jam out, to queen out, to uh, you know, music. I mean, we do it on a regular basis. We oh love gosh, our music, and you know, Little Kim. You know, these these How strong exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she knows, although she really doesn't look like Little Kim anymore. I know. Uh, Seriously. Yeah, I'm like, who is, who is this Asian woman? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. All right. So we're getting a little crazy now. But basically, we really just wanted to let you guys know that we are here to basically just shed some light, unveil what it is to be a part of the gay community. And we want you to know that you do have a support system here. If you guys want to message us, if you guys want to just comment down below, feel free to ask questions or just comment on whatever. If you guys just want to like say whatever it is or you guys are going through and also feel free to um you know send us a dm on instagram again i will link jacob's um page and my page down below follow us on social media again don't forget to comment like and subscribe and i will see my kitties very very soon it was a pleasure guys thank you bye